five, a longtime dream fulfilled for L.A.'s homeless veterans. A new housing complex opened its doors today for the first wave of veterans. Fox 11's Hal Eisner was there for the ribbon cutting. What do you think of this place? I love it. Yeah, it's, I'm like, uh, it's a blessing. For 11 months, Maurice Valerio lived in a car on the street. Now he has an apartment on the sprawling West L.A. VA campus, where Building 207 is the first of several being renovated or built from the ground up to house vets who have been homeless or at risk of being homeless. Three! Yeah. Building 207 was a collaboration and part of a process that's been in the works for years to permanently house homeless vets with the help from Fox, our parent company, who has partnered with U.S. Vets. This will fundamentally change the service system for veterans in Los Angeles. This is one of our one bedrooms in the building. This is Parisa Rashan. Our number one priority is getting veterans off of the streets and into the homes that they deserve. So this is our first building. It's the kind of apartment Maurice Valerio now calls home. I'm just glad I got here. I'm glad I found the right resources to get here. What Building 207 provides is the opportunity for what's called a complete continuum of care that includes coordinated entry services, how one gets an apartment, and case management services, among other things. To get in, you have to be a veteran who pays a third of whatever money you might be getting. You have to be 62 and above. Dr. Steve Braverman with the West LA VA says they were able to get $70 million over the last two years and... We have a commitment for 70 more this year and a total commitment moving forward of $380 million over the next 13 years to support this project. While there are only nine veterans living here in Building 207 right now, there's room for 59, just like Maurice Valerio, who says he's grateful for this roof over his head. I don't have to wait for a meal to come. I could cook it myself. I could take a hot shower when I want here. Maurice has 11 kids, a wife who is also homeless, living elsewhere, and really appreciates what he's got now. As we said, before moving in here, he lived in a car. What was it like? It's hard. It's hard. But this, this, is, this is much better. Yeah. And this feels better, right? Yeah, it sure does. In West L.A., I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.